Hey everyone and welcome back to the breakdown. Today we are getting a minimap in Minecraft 1.16.5. Specifically, we're getting Xero's minimap in Minecraft 1.16.5. This is a long-standing minimap and one of the cooler things about it is that it's frequently updated. So many of the minimaps out there are not frequently updated, but Xero comes in and says, mine's going to be updated consistently. And he does really well with that. He's done that for a very long time. And it's actually one of the only mods that has updated for 1.16.5 because 1.16.4 mods work in 1.16.5 without any problems. And a lot of developers are like, hey, we're just going to leave it. But this one has actually been updated and had updates since 1.16.5 came out, which is something I like to see. First and foremost, though, we do have a more sponsor, which is Apex Minecraft Hosting. Check out Apex at the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex. Get a 24 hour DNOS protected Minecraft server up and running for you and your friends. We actually love and trust Apex so much that we host our own server, play.breakdowncraft.com on them. And truthfully, Apex is the best way to start your very own Minecraft server. So you can check out Apex the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex to get your server up and running. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and get a mini map up and running in 1.16.5. The first thing you want to do is go to the second link down below and that's going to take you here. This is actually our in-depth tutorial for installing Xero's mini map. Here's the deal. Some people say that uh, I talk a little too fast in videos and it's hard to keep up. So we thought, hey, let's go ahead and produce some text tutorials. That way people can follow through at their own pace. And that's what we've done here. So nevertheless, as you can see, once you're here, though, you want to click on this yellow download Xero's minimap button. When you click on that, it's going to take you off to Xero's official download page, where on the right hand side, we're going to go ahead and scroll down until we see Minecraft 1.16. Then under that, we see version whatever for Forge. You want to make sure that the version you download says for Forge in the title. Ours does here, so we're going to go ahead and click on the orange download button to the right of that. Then, after a few seconds, the download will begin, and in the bottom left, it will go ahead and start downloading, right? So we can click the download button. There it is. Xero's minimap in the bottom left. You go ahead and click keep on Google Chrome. On Mozilla Firefox, you need to save it in your center of your screen, but again, it's 100% safe as long as it does have Xero's minimap in the title. Now, we're not done downloading just yet. We still need to download the Forge mod. You can go to the third link, third link down below, and it will take you here. Again, this is our text tutorial for Forge. We're me giving you the basics of getting Forge in this video, but if you do have any issues, come back to our website here and go through this tutorial because it goes a little bit more in depth than we will here. Nevertheless, once you're here though, click on this green download Forge button and that will take you off to Forge's official website where you want to make sure Minecraft 1.16.5 is selected. However, as we can see here, MC 1.16.4. So that's not correct there. So we want to make sure it is by clicking 1.16.5 on the left-hand side. It's right there for us, but you may have to click the plus 1.16 and then click on 1.16.5. But nevertheless, as you can see, it says MC 1.16.5 here. So we can go under download latest and click on the installer button. Then after a few seconds, it will take us off to add focus. We're stop. You want to wait 10 seconds on this page. Uh, what are you doing? I said, wait, don't click anything. Just sit here. Just sit here and wait. Listen to the video. Just wait. Just sit here and wait. Because after 10 seconds, in the top right, a red skip button will appear. So on the top right of this page, you will see a red skip button. And that is the only thing that you want to click on this page, is that red skip button in the top right. And then finally, in the bottom left, you will see a file download. It'll say Forge. And you can go ahead and click Keep on that file. On Mozilla Firefox, same thing. Click the red skip button in the top right. And then in the center of your screen, it'll come up and say, Do you want to say Forge? Yes, you do. Now finally, we can minimize our browser, and here on our desktop, we have Xero's Minimap, and we have Forge. If these aren't on your desktop, well, what do you do? In that case, they're going to be in your downloads folder. Click on the little Windows icons in the top left of my screen, it's probably in the bottom left of your screen. Click on the little Windows icon on the top or bottom left of your screen, though, and then go ahead and type in Downloads, right like so. And then you have this Downloads File folder, click on that, and then you'll have Xero's Minimap and Forge. Drag them to your desktop just for ease of use. Now, once these are on your desktop, it's time to go ahead and get Forge installed. Now, this is pretty simple, assuming you have Java. And if you don't, I'm going to show you how to get Java. So let's go ahead and right click on Forge, click on Open With, click on Java, and click OK. But if you don't have Java here, or these files just don't look right, they don't look like my Java Coffee Cup logos, here's what you do. Go to the description down below, and first, download and install Java for Minecraft Mods. Xero's Minimap, being a Minecraft Mod, you need this version of Java for it. So come here, download this version, get it for Xero's Minimap, and then you'll be good. However, you may still need to run the jar fix, and this is what's going to take all those jar files on your computer and link them to Java. So if the files don't look correct, this is what's going to fix it, the jar fix here. So finally, we can go ahead ahead and right click on Forge, click on Open With, click on Java, and click OK. That's then going to open up the mod system installer for Forge, where we just want to click on Install Client and click OK. It's then going to download, do some things, set some things up, make some things work, and then eventually it will come up here and say Successfully Install Client Profile Forge for 1.16.5. The only reason it wouldn't say that, right here, Successfully Install Client Profile Forge for version 1.16.5, the only reason it wouldn't say that is if you haven't played 1.16.5 in what they call vanilla, which is no mods, no nothing, just go play Minecraft 1.16.5, you don't really even have to play it, you just have to open it. Then come back, 
and install Forge just like we just did, and it will work. Finally, though, you can click OK. You can actually delete Forge from your desktop at this point. Now let's go ahead and open up the Minecraft launcher and whoa, hold on Speed Racer. What you want to do first is make sure we have our Forge profile selected. So as you can see here, there is Forge. It's automatically selected for us. You may have to click this little arrow here and then click on Forge. If it says 1.16.5 dash Forge under, click on play. But what if you don't have Forge here? Well, here's what you do. Click on installations up here at the top and then you have this little modded checkbox over here on the right hand side. Make sure that modded checkbox is clicked. And if it is, Forge should appear. You should have Forge 1.16.5 under that. Then click the green play button. However, if you still don't have Forge, lastly, do this. Go on the plus new button here, and then you can name this whatever you want. I'm going to name it play.breakdowncraft.com. Why am I naming it that? Because that is our own incredible 1.16.5 Greek protected Minecraft server. We have Greek protected survival with 30 custom quests, player based economy, that's medieval. And then we have aquatic survival with a slash shop based economy, custom challenges. It's truly amazing there as well. And speaking of custom challenges, our Skyblock server, which is the best around, I truly, you will love it. It's got a custom storyline, custom challenges, custom mob coins, custom minions. You'll love it. So come play with us. Play our break craft.com is the IP. Like I said, everything's custom. Can you get that? It's really cool. You'll love it. Anyway, let's go ahead and click on this version drop down box now. And then we want to find at least 1.16.5 forge. Here it is for me. You may have to scroll all the way down to the bottom to find it, but for me, it's right up here towards the top and we can click on it. Now I'm going to go ahead and change my resolution. You don't have to do that, but here's the deal. You, we're making a video. So you need to be able to see once we get in game and that's why I changed the resolution. We click the green create button in the bottom right now, and we have this play.breakdowncraft.com profile. Most importantly, it says 1.16.5 forge under it. We can go ahead and hover over this and click on the green play button. It's going to open up this little warning where you just want to click, you understand the risk, you know what you're doing, and then go ahead and click the green play button now. And finally, Minecraft 1.16.5 will open up with forge installed but no minimap. We need to install the minimap, but the hardest part's over. The hardest part of installing a mod, in my opinion, is installing Forge. Because once you got Forge installed, the rest of it, pretty easy sailing, in my opinion. But we now just need to wait until we're on the Minecraft main menu. So I'll do a quick jump cut and I will see you once we are there. So here we are on the Minecraft main menu. Let's go ahead and click on the mods tab here. Click on the open mods folder in the bottom left. And that will open up the mods folder here. Then we can take a zeros mini map and drag and drop it from our desktop into the mods folder. Now if we come back here, it's uh, it's not here. We click on done. It's not going to be here until we click done. Click quit game and then relaunch Minecraft. But you do need to make sure you have that Forge profile selected, either the one you created like we did or the official Forge profile. Ours is automatically selected, but go ahead and click on it, click on Forge or whatever. Make sure it says 1.16.5 Forge there, then click the green play button. Finally, Minecraft 1.16.5 is going to open up with Forge installed. And it's going to be amazing. Or not Forge installed. What am I saying? With Xero's mini map installed. You can actually see, there it is. Xero's mini map. It's recognized it. It's not necessarily installed, but it's going to work. I promise it's going to work. It's going to work. It's not going to be any problems. It's going to work because we tested it. This is great. When you're watching our videos, we've already tested this stuff before the video's even made, so you can guarantee it's going to work. That's kind of that. That's all i got to say about that. But anyway, we're now loading into the Minecraft main menu, and once we're here, it's pretty easy to see if this is installed. First and foremost, we can click on Mods, and there it is, Xero's Minimap. The second way, obviously, jumping in game. We're just going to jump in game with a minimap, and we'll see that, in fact, it's installed. Maybe this minimap can help me find my home in this world, because this is a really old Let's Play world we used to have, and unfortunately, I lost where the home is located. I don't even know where it went. It just kind of disappeared didn't disappear. It's still here. I just went away from it and don't know where it's at. And well, uh, as you can see, it's kind of hard to navigate this terrain because it's an extreme biomes world. Anyway, this is an old Let's Play called Nixcraft. It was really, really cool. But um, yeah, anyway, just stream it all the time. But I've lost my lost my home in it. So anyway, you don't care about that. What you care about is the fact that there is a mini map up here. Now, there is also different mini map options. I just have to click around, figure out what are um, <laughs> what 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 it is. OK, so here we go. Y is going to be how you can access your minimap settings. So if you go ahead and just hit Y on your keyboard, it's going to open up this. You can turn your minimap on and off. You can make it larger. You can make it smaller. All of that stuff. You can change the position on it. For example, you can you can move it around and move it into the center of your screen. Anywhere you want, you can do that. And then we can also do the you know different cave ceilings modes. We can turn on waypoints. And most importantly, you can set waypoints down here at the bottom. For example, we wanted to set a waypoint for you know test tutorial. We could do that. And most importantly, if I do find my home, we're going to set a waypoint at our house, but we come back, there's the test tutorial waypoint. We can fly all the way over here, and that waypoint is still there. We can still go to that, which is really cool. I wish I could find our house in this world. Look, look how cool this world was, though. This is a really cool world, but you're not here for that. Again, sorry, sorry, sorry. I keep getting distracted. Anyway, you can turn off the different settings. You can also click next. There is so much here. It's overwhelming. Like, so much. Do the different zooms. I'm going to go ahead and do one zoom, but yeah, so much stuff here. Absolutely love it. Tons of stuff for you to check out. Tons of stuff for you to enjoy, but... um, 
yeah, there's that. I'm gonna look for my for, look for my house actually a little bit. I think I think it's over here. Let's let's hope it's over here. But anyway. Thank you all so, so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more awesome content every single day of the week. It truly is incredible. Um, we make tons and tons of awesome videos here and tons of awesome mod tutorials and all that stuff. Cool to see the 114 updates I have made it to this world. But um, anyway, my name is Nick. This has been The Breakdown. I will see you in the next video, and I am out. Peace.